in this video we will be learning about transition of algebraic that is basic solution or the graphical method to simplex method so before directly jumping to explain what is simplex method i first want to explain what is the procedure to handle the simplex method and how do we solve the linear programming problem using the simplex method so let's start by recalling what is a linear programming problem so this is the most general linear programming problem we can see that there are constraint less than equal or greater than sign and then we have non-negative restriction in the solution method that I have discussed in my last videos we have done graphical method we have done algebraic method that is finding basic solution or then finding basic feasible solution one of the basic feasible solution give us the optimal value and here one of the corner point whenever we have the lpp in the two variable one of the corner point give us the best optimal solution and we have also seen that there is a one to one correspondence between basic feasible solution corner point now as we move to the third method that is simplex method and its variance in variance means i may include big m or two phase method so in the, all these method what i want to understand is how this transition takes place from basic solution to the simplex method to explain this transition let me to consider an example now consider this problem in this problem the question asks solve the given lpp and if i solve this question with the graphical method because i can see that there are two decision variable so i can have these two as the line and the correspondingly this is the relevant region in that relevant region we can identify what are the corner points so this is 0 0 this is 2 0 1 0 and 0 comma 5 by 2 these corner points can be found just by the intersection of by when we draw these two lines and based on that we can find out which is giving me the best value and in this case this point that is 1 comma 2 will give me the best value so this will give me z is equal to 8 and that is the optimal value and now if i solve this question by the basic solution method or by the algebraic method the first thing that i need to do is i need to write the system into ax equal to b so i must have an equality constraint for the equality constraint i must involve slack and surplus variable once i introduce slack and surplus variable i will see what is the order of the matrix a in this case there are two constraint and then there will be four decision variable so that means i can make four c2 cases that is six cases in the basic solution so these are the six cases that i have made here some are basic variable some are non-basic variable now it is up to us to select which are as a basic variable and the other remaining as non-basic variable we have to make all the six cases and corresponding to all the six cases we need to solve the system and based on the decision variable choices that if s1 s2 are also non-negative and x1 x2 are also non-negative i have to reject some of these as you can see there is a negative sign here there is a negative sign here so these are not basic feasible solution the remaining basic feasible solution are those which are the four corner point this point i have also explained in my last video and this is why i said that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between non-degenerate basic feasible solution to corner point so whenever the system is non-degenerate there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the corner point now the same approach we will use for the simplex method in simplex method also i will start looking my system into this form ax equal to b and then i have reduced my system to b x b equal to b ensuring the right hand side is also pos positive and here xb is b inverse multiply by right hand side so i want to start from a solution from a basic variable which is readily available that give me the solution in this case the most easiest solution by looking at this system is this whenever i take the decision variable x1 x2 as 0 so automatically in the constraint if you look at in the constraint once i involve here s1 s2 so let's write down these constraint here 2x1 plus x2 plus s1 equal to 4 and the second constraint is x1 plus 2x2 plus s2 equal to 5 if i take now these x1 x2 equal to 0 then automatically my s1 is 4 and s2 is 5 and corresponding to these the matrix is 1 0 0 1 so for this choice if you look for this particular choice if i select my basic variable as s1 s2 and if i choose my non-basic variable at other variables other original variable then correspondingly my basis matrix is identity matrix and if i now look at this solution part let's call this as star so star means b is identity matrix xb is what i need to find and right hand side is b so this means ident this 
i will go on the other side and it's i inverse into b now identity inverse is identity only so this is only b and we have already taken this condition for the simplex method that we must apply simplex method once our lpp is in standard form in my last video i have explained what is standard form so b is already non negative so this means this will give me initial basic feasible solution so that means i am working on a similar solution that i have already found from the algebraic method or either from the simplex method so that means in the simplex method i want to first start with this bfs and then i don't want to check all the bfs all the six cases what i will do in the simplex method is i will move from this solution to some another basic feasible solution that may give me the optimal solution or at least an improved value so for example from this bfs i may move to this case which is this one and then from here i can move directly to the next improved one and then i will check the optimality criteria whether the current solution is optimal or not so in simplex we are working on the same basic solution but with some optimality criteria and this optimality criteria will avoid checking all those cases that we have made here that is ncm so we will only work for those cases one that is first bfs that is the start from where we have started and then we will always work to the improved one and based on the improvement we will see if there is no scope of improvement then that is obviously the optimal one so in this case let's say we have started from here because at this stage s1 s2 are the basic variable and the value for x1 and x2 is zero so suppose that i am moving from this to this one so in simplex i am moving to the adjacent bfs i may move to this one and then again i will check my optimality criteria whether my optimal value is uh, better best or it cannot be improved so about the optimality criteria i will explain in the next video how to check these optimality criteria but just to understand the process and then again from here i will looking at the optimality criteria i may move to the next adjacent point and i will again check the optimality criteria so this says this is this is the best value so i will stop i will not check at these these corner point and any other corner point that may arrive from the basic feasible solution method or from the graphical method i could have moved from the other direction also we can move we can go in this direction also simplex method always allow us to move to the adjacent bfs and then from here i can come back to this one now these directions are also explained in the simplex method that is based on our optimality criteria and feasibility criteria so in my next video we will understand what are optimality and feasibility criteria that we are doing in the simplex method but essentially the simplex method is same as basic solution method the only thing is that we are not checking at all cases we are checking at selective cases we have we will start from the one of the basic feasible solution and then based on our optimal criteria we will select the next bfs which will ensure that the value for z is improved corresponding value of z is improved and then we will move to the next bfs and then we will see the z is improved if from here optimality criteria ensure that there is no increment scope we will stop and this is how the simplex method works